Hello everyone, this is Future Brittany. After I reviewed this video of Abba and Preach on my live stream last week, I went to their channel to check out the comment section. Their fans were pretty upset with them, which I found to be interesting. And also shout out to Abba and Preach for defending themselves and standing true to their principles. I really appreciate that. So before you get into this clip, just a reminder that YouTubers and their audiences sometimes disagree, but also people change over time and people become more comfortable with people that are different from them. And I just wanna say for those people in Abba and Preach Preaches audience that are concerned that a parent transitioning impacts a child, it does, for good or bad, but most likely good. Usually children want to see their parents be confident in their belief systems. There are so many ways to impact your child negatively. They could be an LGBT kid in a religious home and that could impact them. They could have a parent who works outside the home or maybe is in the military and can't be home every night. They could have a parent who actually converts to a different religion than the one they were raised in or a parent who becomes vegan. At the end of the day, any extreme change can have impact and will have impact on your family. So make sure while you're going through that transition and that change, you sit your family down and have really open dialogue about that transition, no matter if it's from religion to religion or gender to gender. At the end of the day, any big change will have some sort of impact on the family. And at the center of all this, you have Mr. Beast, Ava Tyson, Dr. Ava. Disrespect, Nick Merckx, a, a bunch of names that you may or may not be familiar with. Right in the world, Ava Tyson's been a part of the Mr. Beast. What is the MCU? Mr. Beast, Dr. Disrespect. <laughs> what? Nick Merckx, Alice Silverstone. Hey, even Nick Merckx had to come out against Dr. Disrespect even though he went so hard for him in defending him. Ooh. For a second, I got out of my mind and I was like, what, what the fuck am I watching? All right, but it, it gets better. Let's go from here. He's obviously biggest creator in the world. Ava Tyson's been a part of the Mr. Beast crew from the beginning. With Mr. Beast having to once again, like he's done in the past throughout her transition, defend Ava online. With this most recent- If you're not aware, Mr. Beast has a cast of people that regularly appear. And one of them recently, uh, you know, admit to everyone that they were trans and basically began their transition. So you can kind of see that their appearance physically outwardly is changing quite drastically. There's been some uproar about this. Some people feel uncomfortable, but Mr. Beast has decided to accept her as part of the crew and keep going with it as if nothing. But they're really- I mean, I never thought Jimmy was a transphobe. So I'm not that surprised. You know what I mean? So I'm, I am think people were surprised Jimmy wasn't a transphobe because they just assumed he was. But I never got that impression, though I do get the impression he's more centrist. Really close friends and stuff. So that's yeah, contextual. For real. But online. This most recent example of that stemming from a video posted by Nick Merckx. And he's a very big gaming streamer, though. I would say definitely over this past year with more and more of his anti-trans talk, he's gotten a lot. I don't like Nick Merckx. Bad energy and him and Dr. Disrespect had that anti-trans energy, trans people are groomers attitude. I don't like that attitude in people, red flag. More attention. And he tweeted to Ava, you should be ashamed of yourself, leaving behind your wife and child to play pretend. One day you'll wake up and realize what you've done. It's not a very good look now, is it? Damn, bro, damn. Oh man, shut up, that is none of your business. Sorry. Tweet from Ava earlier saying me every time I post on Twitter. All mentions are he, they, she, she, hey, they. And so Nick's tweet, it garnered a lot of reactions. And you know, one of the biggest responses there was from Mr. Beast himself saying Ava is literally always with her kid and doesn't even go on shoots to spend more time with them. Tuckman is always smiling. Not sure why this rumor is a thing. And as you can imagine when the biggest. Yeah, then you guys are just chatting shit. Their transitioning had no impact on their parenting. <laughs> Look, the only thing the transition did which makes sense, this is very, very common in relationships is they separated and I think got divorced because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that Ava's wife, ex-wife, is straight. So obviously she would probably want to be in a relationship with a man, right? Now, sometimes if you're your partner is bisexual or pansexual or queer in some aspect, then it's like is usually fine. But this happens. This happens with lesbian couples where someone transitions and you're like, oh, and then that changes the dynamic. Like, this is very normal. That's why co-parenting and the, well, first of all, this is why co-parenting is amazing. But two, this is why coming out is so scary because you are worried about impacting your kid and impacting your spouse. But it is better for you to be honest with your spouse than lie to them. So shout out to Ava and her ex-wife, because I think this is so much better for everybody involved. There's honesty, transparency, good co-parenting. And ultimately, this is going to show the child 
that when your parents live honestly and transparently, you can have a good life and you can trust the people around you to love you through it. Like they have a good relationship as far as I've ever heard. <laughs> you're doing that, exactly. That's okay. What you're doing the most. I know I brought that up. Okay, yeah. let's, let's keep going. His creator on the platform chimes in on something and becomes an even bigger conversation. Whether it be people on the side of how dare Mr. Beast say that, or upset with the fact that he's friends with, supports, and features a trans woman in his content. But this is there were also a ton of others loving what Mr. Beast said here. All right, we got, we got, we got one of the greatest thinkers of our generation, Cucko. Uh, if you want to <laughs> pretend to be a woman, do Oh, Sneeko. Oh, no. Pokimane just retweeted Sneeko and called him a cuck. And I'm like, that's very immature. But also, I did ugly laugh into the mirror when I read it. I very much ugly laughed. I'm not kidding. Sneeko said if you want to... Oh, well, Abba's going to read it. Hold on. Do it off camera. Do not be selfish. Do not damage Jimmy's philanthropic reputation. Do not confuse a generation of children by celebrating puberty blockers and genital mutil. Holy shit. These guys are comatose brain dead. So basically, it's like, if you want to be trans, just don't be trans on camera. Just hide. Oh on the topic of trans people be on camera, I don't give a shit either. Like, what What a non-issue. Yeah, but mm. what if kids see it? So what? Trans people are real. You need to get over it. Ooh. They've always been real. Ab is so attractive. I'm married. Stay away from me. I love it. I love a confident person. Love it. They've always been around. That's a fact. You may not like it, and that's fine, but they should be allowed to exist in these spaces, and kids should be allowed to see them. Now, it's a completely different thing if you're talking about drag queens and all this other shit. You can have me there, right? Because there's a sexual connotation to a lot of that culture. And you know what? We'll disagree on this, Abba, but at the same time, maybe agree. Depends on the context. I feel like there's a way to have drags in front of children that makes sense. I just really feel like that's possible. If we can raise kids in, like, religious bubbles with, like, fake gods, I'm pretty sure we can have fun with costumes, you know? culture and that's inappropriate around children but just trans people existing i don't give a f they're gonna be around here people used to say, say the same shit about gay people mm -hmm. what are you letting, letting people see these kids seeing these trans people is not going to turn these people trans and seeing these gay kids is not going to turn these people gay mm. i don't care how many gay people i would have seen on camera there's not a day in hell that i would have become gay in the future it was either in you or it's not some of you don't want to accept that you believe that everyone's being turned gay or whatever it is it's ridiculous oh my god so this guy's cool and he's gay so like maybe i'll start sucking what <laughs> <laughs> you know why i think people think this is they kind of might like maybe they're telling on themselves like maybe they're literally telling on themselves maybe they're thinking that they're some more susceptible to peer pressure than other people right maybe that's what it is are you susceptible enough to peer pressure to like to try a different kind of you know, I've, I've heard people like, oh, I've kissed somebody to see if I was gay or straight or I've I've done some stuff to figure it out. And I think that's very possible. I think you can be straight and be like and have gay sex, basically. Jesus Christ. Did, did you catch the gay again? Nope. Oh. <laughs> Sucking dick. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Like, <laughs> it doesn't work like that. There, there's a level of protect the kids that I understand. This is just fear mongering. Yeah. This is this is just you guys are bored. getting the pitchforks ready for dumb shit. You guys are bored. This, and I watch Mr. B's content from time to time. There are no political messages. There is a very strong effort to be very neutral on most things, but people think like this is somehow like a big thing. You know no, mm -hmm. you're just showing kids what real life is likely going to look like mm -hmm. and the kind of people they're going to meet. Every now and then, you're going to see a trans person. That's okay. You shouldn't be shocked when you see them because if you live in North America, they're part of our society. But the truth is, and this is the reality, these people don't think trans people should exist. Yeah. I think sometimes people use children to mask the fact that they just have a problem with something. Yeah. Mm. That's what it comes to. They've Amen. been doing that. Yeah. Throughout the history, they've been throughout history, they've been doing that. They've been hiding behind kids. Yeah. Oh, oh the well, think about the children. They did that with weed. Think about the children, they did that with alcohol. They think about the children, they black people. Think about the children? Think about the children? That's a Dr. Disrespect used to be like, think about the children. Think about the children. He was. He thought about them so much, he slid into their DMs. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. people, people. It's like it just always yeah. comes down to the children it's just crazy now don't mean get me wrong there are some times where they do go too far with the kids when it comes to certain things that they're presenting in the schools that's sure. something you fight on but you don't fight on a group of people irrespective of what they say or what they believe or what they are even espousing in public and say they shouldn't have a right to be able to even be there i don't abide by that kind of discrimination the idea that people should not 
be on camera because they're trans. Like, that's just stupid. I miss when Mr. Beast was kid friendly. <laughs> I have to do with anything is the amount of transphobia in his replies. Or just the sh Wow, that idea of like, I miss Mr. Beast when he was kid friendly. Trans people existing isn't kid friendly. Gay people aren't kid friendly. Queer people aren't kid friendly. I think this is also very important to recognize, like the prominence of anti-LGBT people in media is still there. And I think that's why we have to remind each other, look, I don't wanna be anti-religion, but if your religion is making you anti-LGBT, it's either the religion that's got to go or you got to learn to compromise, okay? Either you got to go or the religion has to compromise because you are basically asking for us to go and we're not going anywhere. So let's have a conversation. You know what I mean? Let's have a conversation. Now, the world's pretty homophobic, okay? That's just like how it is. And so how do we make it different? By breaking generational curses, by recognizing that like, yeah, that's the world, that no matter how bisexual, pansexual, queer you are, if you end up in a straight presenting relationship, just a reminder that doesn't take away the fact that you're a queer person. See, people think when you end up in a heterosexual presenting relationship, that somehow that's one less queer person in the world. Nope, still queer, still queer, okay? Still queer. And that's the problem that we're facing. I saw this feminine, like femme lesbian talk about the struggles of being a feminine lesbian is people think you're an ally instead of a part of the community. And I think that that is a very real thing because the community itself has very internalized um, homophobia, misogyny, misandry. Like there's a whole issue within the community because the community is a product of society and society as a whole is evolving the way that it's evolving. And so we're always going to have these problems. So examples of breaking generational curses is why on the first date, I always ask, how do you feel about trans kids? Because I'm not trying to marry somebody who's transphobic. I'm not trying to marry that person, you know? And so that's why I always ask, um, hey, like, how do you feel about trans kids? Because I'm not interested. Again, like so many people I know end up in marriages and then when they have kids, and those kids end up being gay, they didn't realize their spouse was going to be anti-gay, therefore anti the kid. And they're like, oh my God. I read this Reddit post the other day that said, basically like I've been married for 10 years. Our kid has turned like five or six or something. And they're talking about being possibly like trans. And the parent was like, well, we don't do that here. And the wife was like, wait, what? What? And I'm like, you never in the, the years you were married, never talked about transness or kids like people will literally be with someone for years before the real conversations show up. And then when life gets really real, they're confused about how their spouse, like, or what their spouse believes. It shakes me to my core. It shakes me to my core. Sheer number of people saying vile things about him and Ava everywhere online. And with that, Ava even right. So people were mad at Mr. Beast. I think being mad at Mr. Beast has gotta be so stupid. They're it's just parasociality too. Being mad at a creator for standing by their beliefs is partially parasociality and your own value showing, right? It's a combination of the two. I mean, their friend. But yeah, to be, Abba just said it, but to feel betrayed by Mr. Beast is the parasociality part. I think being mad at Mr. Beast has got to be so stupid. They're defending their friend that they've known forever. Oh, sorry. He said something different, but you know what I mean. Yes, Mr. Beast, Jimmy is defending his friend. He's known forever. Of course, but you know what? I wonder if these guys, I wonder if these guys expected Jimmy to ditch the friendship. I wonder if they expected that. You remember how I theorized yesterday that Dr. Disrespect was talking to a boy in the DMs? I wonder if his friends would ditch him. I wonder if they would stay friends with him if it was a girl, but would ditch him if they found out it was a boy. Because everyone's assuming it's a girl. But you know, when men say they're straight and they want to protect children, I always assume that they're actually closeted queer people that are actually like the opposite. Like they're the opposite of what they brag to be. I have a beautiful wife, but I keep cheating on her. Well, let's protect the kids, but I'm gonna slide into DMs. It's like, uh-huh. Hmm. And I don't know, I would do the exact same thing. Let's say if preach was mispreached tomorrow and you know, she was a bad bitch. Um, I wouldn't change anything about this channel. I literally carry on exact same way. However, I feel about trans women in sports or the whole bathroom discussion, I do not care, individually speaking, on talking to trans people and treating them any different. Like, it's fine. Mm. You're another person. 
As long as they don't ask me to make up some stupid fucking pronouns with Jaeger, which I would refuse to do. If someone says, I'm a woman. That's that's his thing. That's that's where Abba and I differ. I don't care about your pronouns. Like, I'll say them. What are they? Give me the weird pronoun. I love it. Tell me what it is. But this is where Abba and I deviate. But I love that he knows his, like, limit. But see, I'm just, whatever. I don't care. What's your pronoun? Zs or them? I know them all. Let's go. You know, teach me a new one if I haven't heard of it today. But that's how I feel about religious people. I have the same rules for religious people that I do for anybody else. The rule is, tell me how to treat you and I will meet you in the middle. I will do my best. And I ask the same and we'll try to make compromise. So in religion, a lot of people call priests father, even though they're not Catholic, because that's just like their titles, right? Or the, the Holy Father, the Pope. Like, that's just like, it's a made up belief, but we're going to adhere to it. So that's how I look at everything else. Like, I don't care what your weird pronouns are. I love them. Let's go. What are they? Oh, you're religious? What's your name? Monk something something? Cool. Let's go. Don't care. But it's interesting that like, there's always a line for everybody. Okay. And they are presenting as a woman. All right. They're making every effort to. And they say that's their pronouns. And their name is now Coletta. I'm going to call them whatever they want. This is like the biggest non-issue for me. And for people to sit there and be like, I don't want... If somebody changed their name, you would use their new name, wouldn't you? So mm. why would you try to call them by their old name? That's fucking stupid mm -hmm. of any person. If someone says, my name is now this, and you continue to call them by their old name, you're just an asshole. Mm. You're not making some moral standpoint. You're not doing anything special. You're just an asshole. If you were able to reference a grown-ass man as Puffy, yeah. I think you can name someone whatever <laughs> their new name is. Facts. And the number of times Puff Daddy changed Puff Daddy, Piff, Piff, Piff Diddy, P Diddy, True. P Diddler. Who cares? It's like, we, we accepted that. So. Someone tells you this is my name now, you just give it to them. Like, this is so I stupid nonsensical. It's, 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 yeah, I don't give a shit about that. Mm. Yo, it's like people are bored. You guys are bored. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're looking for new ways to entertain yourself. This is a nothing sandwich. Like, the person just transitioned and Mr. Beast keeps on... What, respecting the person for the human they are? Just keep on doing your, <laughs> your shit. Yep. And then you're the one making up stuff, to talk about you left your child. Not, that's, not for, that's not your business. I mean, why are you commenting on other people's families? That's not your business. You don't want nobody talking about your kids and your wife. Why the f*** you open your mouth about other people? Ooh, but see, that's what I do. Come to my channel and I will talk about how you conduct yourself, especially since you spend your life talking about other people's families. Dr. Disrespect. Talking about how parents are raising their kids, being anti-trans, while you're sitting here sliding into the DMs of a minor. I'll talk about how you raise your family. Abba and Preach won't do it, but I'll do it. You're a bad father. You're bad at your fucking job. You're a bad husband. You're bad at your fucking job. You're bad at your fucking job. People's kids and wives. That's, that's none of your business. Fucking weirdos. You know what, man? Yeah. I think we're like nine and nine now. Was it? Every time I see a scandal, Hmm. With Mr. Beast, I look at it and I'm like, you guys are bored. That was nothing. That's true. <laughs> like that's true. They make so much up about Jimmy that's just so boring at this point. I really want to say something about this dude. Bro, I, I, it's, he's too kind. He's too giving. He's too generous. So we got to do something. It's like, oh, it's Christ. like, yo, you guys are bored. I think that's, that's like the ninth. Do you guys think you're burnt out on it? Because I'm kind of burnt out on like the fake outrage. I mean, I've been burnt out on it in different levels, but I think I'm even more burnt out at it now that I kind of just like stop listening. I think that we're at that stage of being kind of like too burnt out on it. I am too burnt out, you know, uh, but that's why I think I love the Brooks story today because I was like, oh, now this is some tea. This is a story, you know, because like this is something. This is I can be outraged now, girl. Mr. Beast building wells. Mr. Beast having like a criteria list for a partner. Like, oh, my God, I'm so bored. Thing that I've seen about Mr. Beast. Oh, my God. New thing about Mr. Beast. And I look at it. And I'm like, that's a nothing burger. Mm. Keep mm -hmm. it moving. That's my slot on this. I thought this was really dumb. Good on Mr. Beast for defending a friend. Mm. That is what a good friend should do. All right, you should not switch up on your friend because they are different in terms of like maybe their religious identity or their cultural. As long as like their core tenets don't change, who cares? Mm. And if it is a thing, then you talk about it off camera and you have that discussion. But clearly their work is not impacted by it. So what difference does it make? And it looks like their friendship is not impacted by it. So who cares? Sure, Mr. Beast has to catch flack, but you know what? I would be honored.
Okay. If my friend was struggling and I had the opportunity to stand by them, oh. that would be an honor. Mm. That would not be something I would shy away from. Mm. I, that would be like, this is when you need your friends. Not when it's convenient, not when it's po- politically or business expedient. If, 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 if a bunch of people said, yo, Ab, I want to stop doing business with you because you work with uh, gay people or whatever. Okay, then I'm okay with that. We're going to lose this business. There are some things that are worth it. And if you think I would drop it, no. That's ridiculous. That's my thoughts on this whole thing. Um, so good for Mr. Beast. All the people complaining. I think they pearl clutching and they love to do that on behalf of kids. But really, just say what it is. You don't like trans people and you don't think they should be on camera. Stop Stop using kids. Mm. Just stop it. I think what's important here is to recognize, like, everyone has a line in the sand. Ab and Preach also made a really good video about um, not sticking around or not inviting people to, like, the barbecue who basically, like, abuse children or are really bad people. So there's a line for all of us, right? And the line for some people is, like, being trans. But maybe the line should be, like, what it involves actual children right protecting kids Yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth And living life as a fool